Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bedtime Stories with Yash where I Yash Sharma read you two but no today I'm going to read you three new stories so the three stories that I'm going to read to you are from the Akbar and Birbal stories so they involve a lot of wit and a lot of humor okay so like always before we start our session today I'd like to request each one of you who hasn't subscribed to the school's YouTube channel to do so by clicking on the subscribe button down in the video. And secondly, if you may not know, the school also has Facebook and Instagram pages. You should go and follow them too. So I've posted links for the Facebook and Instagram page for the school in the description box down below. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So let's begin with the first story for the evening, which is the test of a masker. Now you must be wondering what a masker is. A masker is a person who puts up any sort of a disguise and then entertains people, puts up a show and then entertains people. So in the city of Delhi, there lived a masker. He used to entertain people with his shows in various disguises. One day, Emperor Akbar went to see his show. As usual, he was accompanied by his ministers and a retinue of servants. A retinue of servants means a group of servants. Everybody was engrossed in watching the show. Engrossed meaning they were uh, captivated, they were very interested in watching the show. In the end, the masker disguised himself as a bullock. Everybody cheered and applauded his art. Amongst the crowd of spectators was a young boy who was watching the show with great interest. Suddenly, he picked up a small pebble and threw it at the bullock. He was so delighted that, as a reward, he also threw his cap at the bullock. Emperor Akbar noticed the boy's act. He called the young boy to him. So Emperor Akbar uh, noticed that the small boy who was watching the show, in excitement, he threw a small pebble at the bullock, that means at the masker. And uh, he also threw his uh, uh, hat, uh, he also threw his cap at the bullock. So let's find out why. Young fellow! Why did you throw your cap at the bullock? asked the emperor. The boy replied, Your majesty, I gave the cap as a reward. The emperor thought that the young boy was a little mischievous. He was naughty. He said, Reward? What reward? A dirty cap as a reward? So that's the masker uh, disguised as a bullock and the small boy and emperor Akbar along with his ministers. The young boy politely said, Your Majesty, I appreciated the wonderful and perfect disguise of the masker. I tested him by throwing a small pebble at the bullock. Now the boy is very smart. He is telling the emperor that he is testing the bullock. The skin of cattle is so sensitive that the cattle shudder. That means the cattle move their skin. They shiver when it is touched by something. When the pebble hit the bullock's back, the masker immediately shuddered. The masker has passed my test. The emperor said, But why did you give such a dirty and tattered cap as a reward? The boy said, Your majesty, it is more important to pass a true test. Whether the reward is a cap or a gold coin, it makes no difference at all. A gold coin is given as a reward. Without real appreciation, it is not worth a penny. So the boy says, Your majesty, uh, it is more important than actually getting a reward. It is more important to pass a true test. And whether the reward is a cap or a gold coin, it doesn't really matter if you don't pass the test. Emperor Akbar realized that the boy was very clever. He took the boy along with him to his palace and employed him in his service. The boy, after years, became well known as Birbal. So, this is the origin story of Birbal. This is Birbal and the emperor talking. So the young boy was Birbal in fact. And this was the first time that Emperor Akbar uh, came, in, uh, came across Birbal uh, as a boy. And then, he could and then he realized that Birbal was truly very witty. And he employed Birbal in his court. So that was the end of story number one. Let's move on to story number two. A green horse. One day... Akbar sat on his horse and rode into a garden. He was accompanied by Birbal. There were many green trees and lush green grass in the garden. 
Akbar was overjoyed to see such beautiful greenery. He said to himself, What a pleasure it would be to ride a green horse in a garden like this. So Birbal has grown up now and Birbal has accompanied uh, Emperor Akbar on a stroll in a garden. And Akbar thinks to himself, what pleasure it would be to ride a green horse in a garden like this. So Akbar said, Birbal, you must get a green horse for me within seven days. If you fail to get one, do not show me your face again. Now, emperors are really, really dominant. Now, uh, uh, Akbar said, Birbal, if you don't get me a green horse within seven days, I, will, uh, I, I don't want to see your face again. A green horse? There can't be such a horse. Both Akbar and Birbal were aware of this fact. But Akbar just wanted to test Birbal's intelligence. Birbal spent seven days moving here and there in the city under the pretext of searching for a green horse. On the eighth day, Birbal presented himself before Akbar. He said, Your Majesty, I have found a green horse. Now there is some suspense in the story. Let's move on. Akbar was surprised. He said, Where is the green horse? You must show it to me right now. Birbal said, Your Majesty, it is a little difficult task. The owner of the green horse has laid down two conditions. Akbar asked, what are the two conditions? Now Akbar is very excited. Now Akbar wants to see the green horse and he wants to see what Birbal has cooked up in his brain. He asks, what are the two conditions that the owner of the green horse has laid down? Birbal replied, your majesty, the first condition is that you yourself will have to go to get the horse. Agreeing to the condition, Akbar said, oh, that is very simple. I myself will go and get the horse. But what is the second condition? Birbal said, Since the horse is of a unique color, you will have to go and get it on a special day. The owner insists that your majesty must get it on a day other than the seven days of the week. So now, uh, Birbal has acted very smartly. He said, Since the horse is so unique in color, and uh, the majesty has to go and get the horse himself, the owner insists that the majesty has to come on any other day than the seven days of the week. Now, there are only seven days in a week. Now, let's see what Akbar says. Akbar was speechless. He kept staring at Birbal's face. Birbal smiled and said, Your majesty, if you wish to own a green horse, you have to accept these two conditions. Akbar was amused. He was pleased with Birbal's wisdom. Akbar realized that it was not easy to fool Birbal. So that was the end of the second story. Now let's move on to the third story. A sweet punishment. One day, as soon as Emperor Akbar came to his court, he looked at his courtiers and said, Today, someone has pulled my beard. Tell me what punishment I should give to that person. The courtiers were puzzled. Now, in the rule of Emperor Akbar, it was very difficult to even get close to Emperor Akbar. Now someone had dared to pull the beard. So the courtiers were puzzled. They said, how could this be possible? But they still had to think of a punishment. So they said some. After some time, one of the courtiers said, Your Majesty, the person who has dared to pull your beard should be beheaded. Beheaded meaning that they should cut off uh, his head. Another courtier suggested, Who is that fool who dared to do such a thing? He should be trampled under the foot of an elephant. Each courtier had a different suggestion to make. Akbar was bored to hear so many suggestions. Finally, he turned to Birbal and said, Birbal, what do you have to say? What do you think should be the punishment to the person who pulled my beard? Birbal looked at Akbar and smilingly said, Your Majesty, you should offer sweets to that person. This is the only punishment for this offense. All the courtiers were baffled by Birbal's reply. They said that Birbal has gone mad or what? How, how can someone give sweets to the person who has pulled the emperor's beard? But Akbar was, was very pleased to hear the suggestion. He said, you are absolutely right Birbal. But can you guess who could have pulled my beard? Birbal said, your majesty, none but your darling little prince would have dared to touch your beard. He must have done that lovingly. 
how can you punish him so birbal said your majesty there is no other person who can even get close to you the only person who can come and actually hold your beard is your own son how can you give punishment to your own son when he did that act in uh, in such love birbal was right early that morning the emperor was carrying his little prince in his arms while playing he had pulled akbar's beard akbar was very happy to hear the clever suggestion made by birbal the rest of the courtiers were ashamed of their suggestions so now you see birbal was so witty in all of these three stories you must have uh, you must have realized that birbal was the wittiest one in akbar's court that's why he was the most loved by uh, akbar so that was it for today's session i'll see you in the next one tomorrow bye bye